Hello guys, it's me again from Destroy the OS and today I am going to be mucking around with Windows XP. And what I'm going to be doing is two pretty good things that people would like to watch, let's say. First of all, I'm going to make it go into a continuous loop. If you don't know what that means, it's basically where you create a file Break it start up every time you turn on the computer and it automatically restarts again and it'll just keep doing that on and on and on until the computer breaks or until you delete the file so I'm going to show you how I would do it and how you can clean it up after and I'm all in the next part I'm going to do two parts of this two, vi two parts of the video First part, I'm going to be doing that. And in the second part of the video, I am going to be doing, but basically just deleting the fonts folder and get rid of all the fonts and that. It's going to look really weird. It's just going to be deleting all the fonts and see what happens. It's just going to be really weird, I think. Yeah. Don't know why, but it takes a bit of time for it to boot up. Oh, it's just doing that. It's going to take a bit of time. I'm going to come back once it's done. I think it's nearly done already. Yeah, it's nearly done already. I'm quickly going to do something. It should be... One of you. So, yeah, that's the. It should be nearly done. So, what I ba if you don't know what I do on this channel, what I basically do is I muck around with OS's and. Quite one of my older videos before I started doing my heyday gameplay, I've done destroying MS DOS. Like, I'm literally destroying MS DOS, but I failed to reinstall it because something ha happened and it just went wrong. I don't know what happened. So, yeah, I'm just using a temporary um, floppy disk image for now until I find. Uh, floppy disk just get images so I can actually install MS DOS properly. Yeah, all I do is muck around with OS is destroy them, do whatever the hell I want with them basically. I'm gonna pause the video here, this is taking forever. I'll be back once the desktop is up. Guys, I am back and the desktop has finally come up. And I'm gonna be making my batch files now. Hopefully. Once this dialog box goes away, there we go, and I am going to create a new text document. I'm going to call it Auto Restart Dot Bat. I'm going to open it. If it lets me, if it doesn't take forever, like it seems if it's doing right now. Yes, it seems if it's, whoa, where's, I mean, look at them, look at the windows. Um, What I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to do shut down slash r slash, slash r is basically, right, shut down is basically a shutdown. And I'm going to do the um, technique sort of thing. Sasha is restart. Dash T is time. And I'm going to do one, which is one second. It's counts in seconds. And if you want to, you can do dash C. Then you can do that. Uh, dash C basically gives a comment. 
to it. Does just does a comment. Doesn't want to do it. It's weird. Doesn't want to do it. Um, let me quickly run on screen keyboard. Um, that, and then I'm going to do restarting, and then that, doesn't want to do it again. There we go, and I'm going to do file, save as, don't need you, go away. Oh no, it's laggy, it's only run on 500, I don't want it as a text document, I want it as all files. Dot bat. No, not dot text. I'm gonna do all to restart dot bat, not dot text. There we go. So if I was to run it, it will restart. What I'm gonna want to do is go to all programs, start all programs, right click, start up, open. And paste it in. So now every time you restart, or every time you boot into Windows, it will just restart. Like I'm going to show you in a minute. <sighs> Guys, I am just about to come on to the user selection screen, and this finally works again. Yay! As it didn't last time. So, once we boot into the desktop, you should start, then you should see the command prompt, then you should see the shutdown prompt, and then you should see restart. Hopefully. If it was to do it. And there we go, restart, and then it's restarting. There we go, it's just going to keep restarting now. Yeah. So in the next video, what I'm going to be doing is getting rid of all the fonts and Windows XP. It's just going to look really weird. And by the way, if you don't know how you can actually remove this, is either one go on to a different account and two if you don't have any other accounts and that's the only account you have boot into safe mode but before you get the windows kernel windows xp kernel keep pressing f8 on the keyboard and once you get a menu pop up go on to safe mode and then go to the file location and delete it from there and yeah thanks for watching if you've enjoyed this Please remember to subscribe for more videos and like if you like the video and give me a comment if you have any other tips of what I should do in other videos. Thank you for watching and bye.